What's up guys, so in today's video we're going to be changing the thermostat, uh, the stock thermostat's uh, 205 degree or around there um, from Mopar on a Dodge Ram 1500 Hemi, so we're going to be changing it up to 180 degree thermostat. So the reason why is it runs a little bit hot um, by most uh, industry standards or you know by most people's standards that you know 205 degrees or around 200 degrees is a hotter uh, temp range to run the engine so i'm gonna go ahead and throw that 180 degree get my temps down um, and it also should make a little bit more power with the engine running a little bit cooler so let me show you guys some stuff so here's the thermostat um, i went with a stant um, if you guys have heard of this brand before it is um, a very well-known brand um, they make a lot of stuff for oem companies so that's why i went ahead and used this one so if you take a look it says it's a 180 degree thermostat and it's about 15 bucks off amazon i think it was 14 something but it, uh, it comes with a gasket already too, which is nice. So it's ready to go. Um, it's a good quality one. Um, if you look, I don't know if you guys can see inside there, but it says 180 degree in the middle there on that copper piece. And that's about it. So I'm gonna throw that one in there, give that one a try. And as far as the thermostat itself on my truck, because I have that fan mod, if you haven't seen that, check it out in another video. Fan mod basically removes the stock uh, fan shroud. So here's where the thermostat is. You got two 13 mil bolts and this pops off. Okay, so you can just remove the thermostat. You'll have a bit of splashing, but if you want, um, on the bottom of the thermos or radiator here, um, you'll see this drain plug. So this drain plug, basically, it's a, it's actually a 16 millimeter bolt, it seems, but it has this index on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see this, this index on the bottom, so you can't quite fit a socket over it. So an 18 millimeter socket seems to fit over the whole thing and it easily turns and then it will drain out of the spout on the bottom. So I'm gonna go and catch the fluid that comes out of this, um, since I don't necessarily need to replace the fluid, so I'm gonna catch it, and then uh, I'll reuse it um, for now. So let's go ahead and crack that and catch some of the fluid. Okay, so just to keep things clean, you can actually attach a hose. So you can see right here I have this hose attached to that nipple there, and I just cracked it loose, and it is just draining. So let's go ahead and let this drain little bit and then uh, once that top hose gets soft up here then we can uh, just shut this off and we don't have to drain any more coolant. Okay so you want to drain it just enough so that you can feel this top hose is soft and you don't hear any uh, water or coolant swishing around. So that's where we're at right now so we can go ahead and loosen these two 13 mil bolts. Okay, so here's the thermostat, it's just hanging out here, so we should be able to pull this out and make a bit of a uh, waterworks here. Okay, so here's the old thermostat out. Um, the new one, the stant one, is pretty much the same size, so that's good news. Um, it's not going to restrict or anything, which some of them actually do, so it looks almost identical, um, which is a good thing. So I want it to be as close to OEM as possible, it comes with the gasket, also has a little jiggle pin right here too, same as OEM. Um, side profile looks almost identical again same sort of setup and the bottom so the stock thermostat on the Mopar one says 203 degrees so I think I said 205 but pretty much same same thing so 203 degrees is where the stock one opens and then the stant one's gonna be 180 so let's get this in there Okay, so the thermostat's all tight. Let's go ahead and put some cooling in. So let's go ahead and start it up and make sure that the system is bled and there's no uh, air pockets in it and that uh, thermostat opens. Okay, so what you want to mainly do is, because we have a jiggle pin on this one, um, we don't really have to do too much bleeding, it should bleed itself. Uh, but what you want to check is that the top hose is hot, and if you reach down here, that the bottom hose is hot. As long as both of them are hot, one of them's not cold, that means that it's uh, basically circulating. So I have pressure in this one, I have pressure in the bottom, and both of them are hot. Um, right now this one's hotter than the lower one. So that means it's cycling through the rad and the rad is cooling it. Even though the fan's not kicking on, uh, the rad is lowering the temperature. So if we go inside, it's been running for a few minutes. Basically, temperature seems to be sitting around 181. I think you guys can probably see that. So 181 degrees, <coughs> 183. So basically it's sitting around there uh, without having to use the fans. 
So that's what we want to see. Should be sitting around 180 degrees because it's supposed to open it fully at 180 degrees. So let's try it out. All right, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, I know it was super simple, but just how to install that 180 degree thermostat on the Dodge Ram 1500 Hemi engine. Uh, it is straightforward and it's obviously a little bit easier on mine because I don't have the big fan shroud and everything in the way, but it's still not a very hard procedure. Um, one tip I would recommend is using that hose, getting some sort of hose to put it on that um, nipple on the bottom of the rad so that you don't make a mess everywhere because that was definitely pretty helpful and it made it super easy. So uh, there's also some other stuff I want to show you too. Um, check back for another video that I'm going to post shortly. Um, it has to do with the cooling when you change the thermostat. So one, you're going to need a tune for sure. Uh, otherwise it's said that you'll actually throw a check engine light. So you want to make sure you have a, turn, a tune, otherwise it might throw a light if uh, your truck actually stays too cool. Um, the stock programming on the computer will actually throw a light for it not getting up to temperature. So that's one thing. And another thing too is if you have, a, I think it's 2013 plus with the active grill shutters in the front, um, those things are going to stay closed according to the stock uh, thermostat. So around 205, but I'll get into that in another video. So check the other video. Uh, hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.